All right. And we're back with another edition of the Scotty No Show. Shout out to Officer Sully for joining us earlier in the show. Um, but we've got Ian back. Ian, yeah. How you, how you been, bud? Good, man. Good. Uh, a lot of stuff uh, in the works for me. And I can elaborate on that or I can leave it alone for now until something happens. It's whatever uh, whatever you like. I do have my uh, my sweet shirt on. You recognize that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. It's a Brett the Hitman Heart t-shirt. So, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So, I've been busy. You've been busy. Yep. How's uh, How's life with you? Um, it's pretty good. Um, I've been working obviously at the holiday gas station. Yep. Uh, here in town, and uh, hours are usually like two thirty to like eleven, eleven thirty, and so that's why we haven't been recording. Uh, today is one of my days off, so um, I just realized I forgot to grab something. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, we're back. Um, yeah, so I've been, uh, I've been working at the, uh, holiday gas station and it's been fun. Um, one thing, uh, that happened last week is my bosses went to, uh, went to Missouri and they picked me up something. Okay. Um, obviously, um, I uh no longer in the newspaper business, but uh that doesn't mean that when I see a newspaper that's interesting that I don't want to read it. Mm-hmm. So Ian, have you ever heard of a town called Uranus, Missouri? Oh, I have not. I've heard of a hell Wisconsin, but I've never heard of a, Ur- a Uranus, Missouri. Well, Uranus has a newspaper called the Uranus Examiner. Perfect. What else What else could you want in this world? So I'm going to read some headlines, if that's okay with you. Okay, let's hear it. Breaking news. We pushed a ton of fudge out of Uranus. Nice, nice. Our citizens love probing Uranus. Okay. Uranus got even brighter. That's a good one. Wieners and things in Uranus. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that that that's just the front page. So, yeah. That yeah, that's the uh what is what is what is your uh name here? You should read it. Pineapples should be pronounced like Minneapolis. Now, now say it. Now say it that way. Now pineapple. say pineapple. Now say pineapples like Minneapolis. Pineapples. Pin Pineapolis. Okay. Thank you. You know, I had this thought the other day. You might have some um, be able to share some light. Um, so I travel a lot for work which yes. means they stop at a lot of gas stations. Now, one particular treat that I noticed in there, it doesn't get a lot of love. I've certainly never picked one, is some places, Holiday might be one of those places, sell a peeled hard-boiled egg that's just in a bag. It kind of looks like a nut sack. I don't think we have we have any of those, but I know what you're talking about. right. Um, so this was my, my conundrum with the, I, cause I love hard boiled eggs. I love pickled eggs, you know, eggs anyway, I'll eat them. Um, but who peels those? That's a good question. That's what I want to know on the Scotty No show this week. That's a good question. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. That's, uh, that's, uh, my big, uh, the big thing I'm bringing to the table this week. Um, I also nice haircut. Thank you. It looks it looks sharp. Thank um, you. 
I'm sure we're going to get into a lot of stuff. I know I have some things that I want to bring in uh, to the light. So why don't you uh, kick us off this week? All right, so- I'm going to I'm going to crack open a cold one. And I don't mean a beer. I mean a sparkling water. Ooh. Yeah, it's quite good. I don't know if you've had oh, this one. It's beach plum. It's beach plum flavored La Croix. I don't know Ooh. how to say it. It tastes like a pre sun, but with less flavors. So it's yeah. okay. Um, one of the things I'm working on is um an application for a detail position with a shot crew. So they're very high efficiency, high energy output fire crew. Um, it would look really good on a resume. That's kind of the that's the top tier of of wildland fire. Um, so I'm trying to get in shape for that. Um, so cutting out cutting out the alcohol. Have been for a little bit, but now now I'm now I'm making the commitment to drink sparkling water. So okay. Um well, there's uh, a few things that we missed, a few things that have happened recently. Um, we're going to start off with, um, I know you're familiar with this guy, uh, CM Punk. Okay. Yep. I know CM Punk. Um, of course, uh, CM Punk was the AEW world champion for a grand total of six days over two reigns. Grand total of six days over two reigns. Um his most recent reign uh, happened a while back or a couple mm-hmm. weeks ago. Um, he had a, a press conference, talked bad about the Young Bucks and about Kenny Omega. Yep. And the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega took exception to that. There was a brawl in the locker room. Mm-hmm. Uh, two, two very funny parts about this. Number one... Uh, CM Punk has a dog named Larry. That's awesome. Um, and Larry was in the locker room, and Kenny Omega tried to uh, take Larry out of the locker room because he was a little scared of what was happening. Naturally, naturally. And and CM our uh, CM Punk's best friend Ace Steel, which what a name that is. That's um, a that's a sex name. He he decided to uh, bite Kenny Omega, and then throw a chair at Nick Jackson's face, as he uh, probably should. He had every right. Yes. So all those guys are suspended, potentially fired for a couple of those guys. Who knows? Um, but your thoughts on all of this? Um, I I like it. Um, I. I don't watch a lot of pro wrestling anymore. I just don't have, I don't have cable or or Avenue to watch it, but I do still follow it a little bit. So I think it's awesome. Um, A lot of people will knock it because it's, it's a a little bit scripted or a lot scripted, but you know, so are movies. real. Yeah. So, so, so are movies. And it's always interesting to read the drama behind the scenes and how, Wesley Snipes during the filming of Blade only communicated through <laughs> sticky notes and you had to fucking call him Blade. People <laughs> love that shit. So when people in the WWE, AEW, NXT, you know, any of those, like it gets personal. It's it's always interesting to read, right? Drama sells. Yeah. Um, on tonight's uh, AEW Rampage, or no, Dynamite, um, the former... Paige uh, made her AEW debut. So Paige nice. is back wrestling. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, she She's now going by her real first name, which is Soraya. That's yeah. a that's an interesting name. I like it. I, I do, too. I, I think that almost sounds like a pro wrestling name to begin with. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's happening. Uh, we wish her, of course, the best of luck. That's also, right. And if she's single, why don't you give my man Scotty a chance here? Uh, um, she's she's dating a guy and falling in reverse, I believe. That's okay. Scotty is works at the holiday and he's also single. So get at him. W- which is why her theme song uh in AW, get this, is zombified. I do like that song. 
Um, I did not know that she was dating a guy in Falling Reverse. I did not know that was her theme song, but good, good for her. That's a nice show of uh, affection and appreciation. Yeah. Um. So um, since the last time that we uh saw or talked to each other, what? One more pro wrestling thing, actually, before we get into our NFL and college football thoughts, because that's been happening. I can't um, wait for NFL. Uh, Logan Paul is going to be fighting Roman Reigns in Saudi Arabia, which is... Uh, I hope Roman Reigns uh, kills him. A sentence I never thought I'd ever say. Yeah, yeah, I don't really support the Paul brothers, so I don't have an opinion on that, but... The thing is, Logan Paul's actually kind of good. He's very athletic. Um, he He's a good actor. He could probably do about anything he wants but he chooses to be a douchebag so i hate his guts yeah um but yeah that's happening um also dominic mysterio finally uh turned on his father ray mhm and now he's walking around dressed like an olive garden uh waiter incognito i like yeah, it so so that's happening um do you yeah. remember of uh, uh speaking of Rey Mysterio when he got involved in the night I totally forgot about this until I was listening to another podcast uh that was talking about pro wrestling. Uh there was a group uh called the Mexicools. Yes. <laughs> and they they rode into the ring on a riding lawnmower. Yes. And th- my favorite part, and I didn't remember this, like I remembered that part. It was like a very distant memory. Um, what I didn't remember was it was a John Deere yep. on mower. And they, they like painted or taped over John and wrote Juan Deere. Uh, do you remember the three members of the Mexicals? Um, I knew the I only recognized one of their names and I I couldn't tell you the other two. So, I couldn't so, even tell you the other one now. Well, I I think there there might be four, but the the three that I remember are super crazy. Okay. Uh, Juventud Guerrero. Okay. And Psychosis. Psychosis is the one I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that was that was a weird time because at about the same time they kind of turned um. Chavo Guerrero into a white guy and called him Kerwin White. Yeah, well, they did a lot of things to like try to branch to each country. Like at one point, Hulk Hogan was supposed to appease the Irish fans. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so the NFL season and college football have been happening. Um, what's kind of your first impression? Like the thing, your takeaways from uh, this early part of the season. Okay, first off, uh, the Bears are fucking terrible. Um, I keep thinking they're going to get good. They're not. Um, That was a touchdown. It doesn't matter. The Bears still suck. Uh, They will find a way to lose every time. Uh, The Jaguars, looking like a good team. (laughs) My fantasy team, hot trash uh okay what else do we got um what did you tear kurt cousins at when we did that was I, it I, a I c it was either a c or a, i'm pretty sure it was a c i also thought it was a c now he is two and ten in primetime games now yep which is the worst record in NFL history. I think you or for prime time. I think you posted that or I saw yep. it somewhere else. Yep. Um, now his stats, how many interceptions? It was three, right? Or I believe yeah, so. three, one touchdown and about 200 something yards. I think 216. Yeah. Now there was another quarterback that had almost identical stats to that last week. And you wanted to give him a fucking B tier. Jameis Winston sucks hot dick. <laughs> he is fucking terrible, Scotty. But he's funny. 
That doesn't he's, give him a B. That does not give him a B. You, I'm still animated about this. He's funny. He's a funny guy. Kirk Cousins looks like a funny guy, just because you. He looks like a guy who shouldn't be playing football. He looks like a guy that's just rolling in Cole's cash. I also saw that meme. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Right now, the Bills look untouchable, but Miami. They look dangerous. They look like a dangerous team. That's a team that could beat anyone. If we're doing games of the week, that's my game of the week. Is Miami Buffalo? How could it not be? That's uh that's gonna be a fun one. Um uh the Cardinals, the Arizona Cardinals do not look good. Uh Russell Wilson has gotta be frustrated in Denver. Did you, did you see that? Um like Russell Wilson, like he was trying to hype up like one of his teammates, and the, his teammates were like, "Get away from us, you you corny bastard!" Like I didn't see that. I did see like a fake post about. It. So first of all, I will say I don't think it's Russell Wilson's fault. I think that coach is a fucking dumb dumb. Um, oh, Nathaniel Hackett going for a sixty-four yard field goal. Yeah, so the the fake article that I saw was like there was an interview with him of stuff he didn't say, but it's like, what else did you want me to do? We could obviously kick an impossibly long kick that's never never been done, or I could put the ball in the guy's hands who just showed up, doesn't drink, but still acts drunk, wants to party, but nobody likes. So obviously I'm going to go for the really long kick. So... Um, I'd say those are my hot takes on the NFL. Um, do you want to, do you want to do hot takes on NFL or do you want to go to NCAA? Because I haven't been following that as closely. All right. So the NFL, I mean, you know, there's what you said. Uh, Philly looks really good. I think they look good, but I don't think that's a world beater team. That's not a. It's not a Super Bowl team. It just looks like they're the favorite in the NFC beast. Yeah. But the Giants don't look bad either. I think the Cowboys are fucked. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they beat the Bengals with Cooper Rush, but also... um, Okay, so there's a hot take I forgot. The Bengals are not that good. Yeah. And not only are the Bengals not that good, I don't think Jordan Burrow is that good. Joe Burrow. What did I say, Jordan? Jordan Burrow. <laughs> Jordan Burrow. Jordan Burrow. Nebraska wrestler. Jordan Burrow is great. Jordan Burrow is great. He just won the world title. <laughs> I was looking at I was looking at world uh world championships earlier. <laughs> but Jordan Burrow uh might be as you know same level quality as Joe Burrow at this point. <laughs> oh. But um, I think Joe Burrow is good. Um, His offensive line is absolutely hot garbage. But it's not just that. You see him throw picks when he is defended. So it's not just on the line. The line's not good, but he's also making shit plays. Yeah. Also, uh, shout out the uh, Cleveland Browns for being up, I think, 14 points on the Jets and with like two minutes to go and still losing. Right. Okay. So that's the other thing from last week. Like there were two great games. It was the dolphins and the Ravens Yep. and the jets and the Browns and the jets and the Browns should never be America's game of the week, but God damn it. I think it was America's game of the week. The jets fans that I watched it with went fucking ballistic, but more just like out of shock. Yeah. The Browns fans look just disappointed in themselves that they even thought they were going to win that game. Yeah. And Joe Flacco looked halfway competent, which Dude, is not Grandpa something... Joe. That that's got, not got something out of, I hate. got out of bed. Went yeah. to the chocolate factory. Yeah. Messed with the Browns. Still yep. fizzy lifting drink. Yeah. You lose. Um yeah, other than that, there's not really anything that has really stuck out to me. I mean, I guess, I mean, Kansas City is still good, but ho-hum. 
Yeah, I guess at this point, Who yeah, cares? I, I'm kind of kind of over it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think that the Los Angeles Chargers are the AFC version of the Vikings. It is looking like that. Um, what? Okay, so we got Super Bowl champions Rams. What are you thinking about them right now? And the other one I want to get your opinion on is the Packers. Yeah. Well, the Rams, I mean, they don't look great. They don't look they... great. They don't look good at all. But nobody in the West does right now. No. Um. By the way, shout out to your Jaguars for having the best record in the AFC South with only one win. They have the only win in the AFC South. So, yes. meow, pray cheetahs, round. We go oh. to the litter box. Also, Matt Ryan is just hot garbage now. You know, I think he's not great. I think people put a lot of high expectation on him when he wasn't even that good with the Falcons at the end of it. I think he was a very good quarterback a long time ago. I don't think he's been a shade of that since the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, what a... Uh, what about old Mr. Tannehill and the Titans? Oh, they're not good either. You don't think they're good? No. I don't know. Well, I, I, I told it you seems, they weren't going to be. It seems like they have potential, but for some reason, something's not clicking. Yeah, I told and you they weren't going to be. It's probably because that fucking place kicker eats about seven cheeseburgers every time he kicks. Good old fat Randy. <laughs> what is the name? Harrison Butker? No, no, Harrison Butker's on the Chiefs, isn't he? Oh yeah, he is. What's yeah, no, the... no, 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 no. It's Randy Bullock, or as I like to Bullock, call him, Fat Randy. Yeah, Fat Randy. My God, that man has no neck. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah. I mean, other than that, not really anything has um jumped out. It's kind of been a weird season, but I'm excited about it. Like the teams that are good that you knew were going to be good still are, but there's still a few teams that you thought might be good that have kind of fallen off. And there's a few surprises in there. The Dolphins is one of them. The Giants is another one. Like, you know, these are teams that have been, you know, trash for the last forever. Um, I look forward to hopefully one day having a Sunday off so I can actually watch some games i usually only catch like the first half of like a steelers game and that's it yeah those east coast games really kind of predominate that 11 a.m slot yeah um on the college football side holy shit was i right that nebraska fucking sucks i don't know that anybody would have disagreed with you that no nebraska's not very good did you hear they defrosted their football program? I didn't hear that. Um, I saw something about they had a new coach, but it doesn't surprise me that they got rid of Frost. Yeah. Um, the best part is they're going to continue paying him. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, like fuck you, money to yep. not coach there anymore. Yeah. So. And to the Nebraska fans that are pining for Urban Meyer to coach there. That's a fucking terrible idea. You'd be better off with Jordan Burroughs. Yes. <laughs> oh. But um yeah, that's I mean if if Quinn Ewers doesn't get injured, Texas probably beats Alabama. Maybe I mean, Alabama finds ways to win, though. Yeah, in in games that like you would think they shouldn't have had a chance to lose, they somehow find a way to win. They, yeah, and make it and make it really stupid close. So, and you know that's Bama is just really good. And also, um, if you're a big time college football program, uh, and you're wanting a a home game. Stop fucking scheduling Appalachian State. You're you're, you're just gonna lose. You're, yeah. you're just gonna lose. That's kind of exciting, right? Good for them. Yeah. Um. Shout out to the Sun Belt. 
who I think what was it, a couple weeks ago, um, Marshall beat Notre Dame, uh, Appalachian State beat. Did they beat Michigan State. Who they beat? They beat Michigan State like a long time ago. Or no, they beat Michigan a long time ago. Um, yeah. This they beat somebody big. Yeah. Oh no. They beat somebody in I think the SEC. Oh fuck! Who did the Appalachian State beat? God damn it! Are you looking it up? Yeah, I'm looking it up. All right, we're gonna. While he does that, we're gonna go to the Ian show. Hey, I'm Ian. I'm also Ian. Ian. <laughs> um. Oh. Oh, oh, they beat Texas A and M. That's who they that, beat. That's that's it. Yeah, yeah. They almost beat North Carolina in one of the stupidest games of all time. <laughs> um, uh, it was sixty three, sixty one final score. Yeah, you gotta love that. Yeah, um, the same exact day, about the same exact time period. Um, Iowa beat South Dakota State. I think it was seven to three. That was a like a really that was the dumbest game I've ever seen. Yeah, that was, there was so, no there was no so touchdown. Stu- no, that was such a stupid game. There's two safeties and a field goal for Iowa. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But anyways, um. Yeah, not much. Not much more than that. I'm kind of excited. I get Saturday off so I can watch a full day of college football. So that's going to be fun. Nice, nice. Um, on the baseball side, um, we have two home run kind of chases. Yeah, that's fun, right? Yeah, we, um, we kind of t- we've kind of talked about one on this yep. show before. Um, of course, uh, Albert Pujols. Going for two? 700. Is he two away? Something like that. I think he's two. And I think Judge is one from tying Maris. Yep. Unless he got one tonight. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so uh, Albert Pujols could get to 700 in L.A., I think. I hope both of them get it. I think that'd be a pretty cool... Pretty cool year for baseball if that happened. Yeah, you know, the, the home run record has been so tainted since you know the steroid era and i think i'm not saying judge isn't on something but you know i think it's a lot less common now to get popped for that so i think it would be really good for baseball if someone broke it i I will say i think it hurts baseball that he plays for the yankees i don't think so I think it's okay for New York, but every no one I know gives a shit about the Yankees or Aaron Judge. Yeah, I've said this before. By the way, shout out to the New York Mets for clinching a playoff spot. Um, as well as I think the Braves have clinched one. I think the Astros clinched. Who am I forgetting? Um, the Dodgers, I believe, have clinched a spot. Let me. Let me look at this real quick cuz I am curious. Okay. Um yeah, so I mean we're we're getting towards the the time of year when baseball is kind of interesting. But... Yeah, this is the best part of the year. Um it's the playoff race. I think it's even more exciting than the playoffs. So teams yeah. you got in right now for sure are the Houston Assholes. That's the only team that's a guarantee lock in the AL. And then for the National League, you got the Mets and you got the Braves. Okay. Um, you have the Cardinals in the Central that will lock it up. The Dodgers have also locked it up. And you have a race really between the Padres, the Brewers are still in it, and the um, Philadelphia Phillies. Okay. That's the NL race. And then obviously AL East is stacked. The Central is not decided yet. The AL and Seattle is trying to sneak in there on a wild card. Yep. Um 
before we get to uh, the kind of mystery game that I have for you, I have a short little mystery game before we get to our tier list. Um, shout out Roger Federer, who I think will be retiring later this month yeah. um, from tennis. Um, we'll see how long that retirement lasts. Because in tennis, it seems like retirements don't. Uh, like, I feel like um, uh, Serena Williams has retired like four or five times. But yeah, I think she's officially retired now, right? You think? I, I think she is done now. You, you know what I would like to see is, you know, because have you ever seen the movie uh, The Battle of the Sexes? No. Okay, so it's a movie where... Um, I thought that was a game. No, it's well, it is, but it it was um, the part of Bobby Riggs was played by Steve Carell, who's a tennis player, um, and Bobby Riggs was, and the part of Billie Jean King, who beat Bobby Riggs, was played by Emma Stone. Pretty good movie. Oh, okay. Pretty good movie. I suggest check, checking that out. But I can see a Serena Williams versus Roger Federer battle of the sexes. I couldn't. You you couldn't? No. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> I um so our mystery this game. tennis talk, shut it down right now. So our mystery game. Are you familiar with Kids Bop? Yes. So I'm going to give you the real lyrics. To, to three different songs and you will have to give me the kids bop lyrics okay are you ready for this yes so the first one comes from thrift shop by macklemore the lyric the real lyrics are probably should have washed this smells like R. Kelly's sheets. What are the kids' pop lyrics? Let's see. <clears throat> probably should have washed this. Smells like my grandma's feet. That's a good one. But um the real uh the kids bop lyrics are probably should have washed this smells like my baseball cleats. Okay. So oh. we're on the feet. We're close. Yep. Also, I, I think there was some. <laughs> there's the lyric, walk up to the club, like, what up? I got a big cock. Yep. Someone has a version of that. I, I don't think it was Kids Bop, but it was some yeah, kids. Yes. It's like, what's up? I got a cool mom. Oh, well, the Kids Bop version is walk up into the club, like, what up? I got a hit song. Uh, that's the Kids Bop version. Okay. I like yes. cool mom better, but. Because hit song is is definitely comparable to a big cock. Um, it might as well be. Next, Closer by the Chainsmokers. Okay. Yes, Kids Bob covered that. The real lyrics are pull the sheets right off the corner of that mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. What are okay. the Kids Bob lyrics? So say the first part again. Pull the sheets right off the corner of that mattress that you stole. Oh, jeez. Pull the curtains off the window, or of that window that you broke. The kids' bot, the kids' bot version, and this is why I wanted to play this game. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the note notebook that you stole from your friend's way back in Boulder. That's so dumb. <laughs> I'm like infuriated. <laughs> I was having a pretty good day. And you come at me with this shit. Okay. Last one. Truth Hurts by Lizzo. Uh-oh. So the real lyric is... They covered kid... that. Yes. Huh. Yes. Kids Bop covered this. The real lyric is you could have had a bad bitch non-committal. What's the kids bop lyric? Hmm. You could have watched Lilo and Stitch. 
in the middle. <laughs> I like that better. <laughs> um, the kids' pop lyric is, you could have had a good friend non-committal. All right, well, we should play this game every week. Because <laughs> this is awesome. So are you ready for the tier list? Yes, I'm ready for the tier list. All right. So our tier list this week is 1990s or 1999 WCW wrestlers. So this is the uh, roster in 1999 right here. Shout out to Dead Space 2. Yes, whatever Dead Space 2 is. The uh, tiers are the best. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Just about bearable. And finally, get in the bin. Okay. So our first uh, person up for this is Alex Wright. Do you remember Alex Wright? I remember him being Alex wrong. He's just about bearable. <laughs> yeah, he was the uh, dancing uh, German dude, Das Wunderkind. Um. Yeah, he's actually really good. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Just about bearable is, is a good uh place for him. Uh, fun fact. Um, he had the last uh WCW match of one Paul Levesque. You know him better as Triple H. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was at uh Starcade ninety five. Okay, I think. So, um, yeah. Next up. Bam, bam, Bigelow. Bam, bam, motherfucking Bigelow. So, this is tough. I haven't really looked that far ahead. Um, I think it's kind of fun to just go as it is, is it, I know, as it is right now. I think I would put him in all right for now, but I think we could make him lovely, lovely, lovely later. Okay. So, we're going to put him in all right for now. I like, I like. Like, you want to talk about underrated wrestlers? Bam Bam Bigelow was that. He really was. Like, I I really enjoyed watching Bam Bam Bigelow growing up. Um, and then he kind of fell off the face of the earth. Well, he died. So. Oh well, that would okay. So he just fell into the earth. Yeah. Um, Bobby Duncan Jr. <clears throat> maybe Not just very... about maybe just about bearable. Not, not not very memorable. No, he really wasn't. I think you could put him and get in the bin. I don't yeah. think there's I don't think there's anything that dislikable about him. No, but he, he was in the West Texas Rednecks. That's all about that's about all <laughs> which I, I thought was awesome, but yeah. I could go for either get in the bin or just about bearable. Yeah, he's pretty getting, unknown, but yeah. But this next guy is not unknown. He's a five time, five time, five time, five time. Five time WCW champion. It's Booker <laughs> T. Uh so for right now, I think I put Booker T in the best. Okay. I love Booker T. Can you dig it, sucker? I I, I can. Um he is a Hall of Famer. Um 99 it was about where he kind of started to blossom a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um I'm a big fan of Booker T. Okay. I would almost put him in lovely, 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 but there's there's a few that are because I think there's a few that are better than him. Do you want to put him in lovely, lovely, lovely for now? And if we can evaluate at the end if he's worthy of okay. best. Okay. I w- we will. Um, The next, we probably should put it in the best because he is the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. It's Brett the Hitman Hart. Yeah, he's in the best. Yeah. Oh, yeah. is that Buff Bagwell? Uh, you're goddamn right. It's Buff oh, Bagwell. I love Buff Bagwell. So, funny story. When I was in Dallas, I gave Buff You've Bagwell directions. You told the story directions. three times, so let's hear it again. Yes, I, I gave Buff Bagwell directions on where he was because he didn't know where he was at the time. So, as much as I like Buff Bagwell, he was about as memorable as a wet fart. <laughs> You, you're going to remember him, but he just got his ass kicked by the Dudley brothers a lot. I'd put him in all right. 
Okay. Yeah. Um. He uh. He just had a memorable face. And he also- did, and he was fucking yoked, and he kept bringing his mom to wrestling. Yes, Judy Bagwell, just, and she just kept getting kidnapped by the Dudley Boys. One time, they put her in a porta potty and tipped it over. For, first of all, the Dudley Boys were never in WCW. Who is the uh, one that always went after him? Um. Well, he had a uh, he had a Judy Bagwell on a forklift match with Canyon, I think, um, with somebody, but. Um, yeah, Buff Bagwell, uh, the, the people that kept going after him were, uh, like the Steiner brothers. Oh, maybe it was the Steiners. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Which I believe we will have both of them later on here. It um, was the Steiner brothers. That's, that's who went after him. Not, not the Dudley boys. Yeah. Chavo Guerrero. Probably lovely, 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 but maybe all right. Yeah, um, back in WCW, he did have that. You remember his uh stick horse that he used to carry around? Yeah, I do. I never liked him that much, but he was, he was pretty great looking back on it now for what he was. Yeah, I feel like all right is about where he should be. Okay. Um, that's just my personal thing. I love okay. the Pepe gimmick. I I do. And- oh yeah, it's great. And remember, uh, Lieutenant Loco, that was him. Okay. Yeah, from the Misfits in Action. Yeah. This one's tough. Oh, boy. Chris Benoit. So, I think we have to look at him as just a wrestler in this. Yeah. And I think I would put him in lovely, lovely, lovely. I would agree. Um... Uh, you and I have both talked about this. It seemed like at at least one or two wrestling tournaments a year when we were kids, there was always one guy that kind of looked like Chris Benoit. Yeah, Lincoln McElravey always kind of looked like Chris Benoit. Yeah. Um, I the less we say about his personal life, the better. But um, it was a tragedy, but he was absolutely monumental for the sport. Yes. Yes. Uh, speaking about monumental for the sport, uh, the new Ring of Honor World Champion as of tonight, uh, Chris Jericho. Okay, he's a bit, at the very least lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's put him in that for now. Okay. I don't, I don't know who's all on this list yet. I haven't looked closely, like I said, but he's, he's another one that could go on the best. He's been around forever. He's huge. Bryson recently got into Fozzie. So yep. he didn't know Chris Jericho was in that. So okay. Um, I think this is Cyclope. Get in the bin. Okay. Yeah. I I don't quite know if that's Cyclope, if that's Mr. JL, if it's Blitzkrieg. I don't I don't know who it is. It's who gives a shit. Well, you better give a shit about this next guy, because it's uh <laughs> It's Mr. Perfect. It's Kurt Henning. Um, Mr. Perfect. I feel like he has to be in lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, you know, he's one of the best in ring performers. Really good talker. He could spit a piece of bubble gum and catch it with like a towel or something like that. Yeah, he was he was something to watch. Yeah. Ooh, Rumble. the diamond cutter. Yep. Uh Diamond Dallas Page. Bang. Um but <laughs> I I never noticed in his uh theme song. It's you know how it says self high five? I I, mean, I haven't listened to DDP's theme song in years. Oh, well, his theme song says self high five. And uh, you know what a self high five is? No. It, it's not this. I, I mean, it is, but um, it, it's code for five knuckle shuffling. Feeding the geese? Yes. Playing yes. a little five on one? 
Yes. Okay, so I think for DDP, I never liked him as a wrestler. Um, now that he's out of the sport, I have a lot more respect for him. Actually, I think Diamond yes. Dallas Page's yoga was a really good idea for him. Um, but as a wrestler, I think I put him in all right. He was a uh, integral part to the movie uh, Ready to Rumble. Accurate, but that does not. <laughs> Give him a pass to lovely, lovely, lovely. He's all right. Dean Malenko. Shit. Now there's a tough one, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. I um, think for for what Dean Malenko was and for what he wasn't. Not a good talker. No, and he was never like a big draw either but he no. fuck, like he was on all the time so fucking good and it was really hard not to be a fan i think you put him in lovely 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 okay <laughs> i think you put ray romano and get in the bin <laughs> you mean disco inferno oh yeah i i the, love it was, what was I his love real it. name? Burn Baby I, Burn Disco Inferno. I fucking hated him. Glenn Gilberti. Good old. Yeah. Who, get in the bin. Get in the bin. He get actually. Him in the bin. He actually own, like manages uh some gentlemen's clubs in Las Vegas. I think now. I think so. he beat up Buff Bagwell a time or two. Probably, and yeah. he would always. He would always wear like a uh, like a Lakers jersey or a Miami Heat jersey or something like that. Well, wow, he was part of the filthy animals, and he did not look like he belonged in that group at all. Yeah, put him and get in the bin. Oh boy, Eddie Guerrero gone t- way before he should have been. Yep, I think almost like when he did die, I think he almost became a martyr. I think he became bigger than he actually was ever when he was alive. Um. I think I put him in all right. He he battled a lot of personal demons. He did. Um, I think put him in all right for now. Put him right there with Bam Bam. And if we feel like bumping him up, if Lovely, Lovely, Lovely could use a few people, I think we could put him in there. Yeah. Fit Finley. Just about bearable. Really? No, no I wasn't a fan. Okay. I I liked him a lot. Um, he had a match with William Regal at Uncensored '96, where they legitimately beat the shit out of each other for like 15 right, we'll minutes. Put him in all right then. Nah, uh, we'll 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 keep him where you say. Okay. For right now, um, the Giant Big Show. I really like the Big Show. I think you put him in lovely, lovely, lovely. What do you think? I would agree. He he's he was awesome, and he did a lot of a lot of humanitarian stuff too. You know, he was really good for the sport. Oh, Bill Goldberg, I th- best. I, I think this is where we are going to disagree. Best, just about bearable for me. Okay, so we gotta find a high, like we gotta find a consensus. So he can go in lovely, 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 or all right. He's going in all right. He he ended Bret Hart's career. You you can't have those two in the same sentence, in the same sure tier. Can. Sure you can. No, you, you just can't. Did. You just had him in the same sentence. Well, you can't have him in the same tier. I'm fine with not putting him in the same tier. Uh, I think he he was one of the reasons I got interested in wrestling well, yeah. in the beginning um, um and uh the guy that kind of poisoned his his brain to make him think that he was way better than he actually was is up next um hulk hogan i think he's best for what he was for the sport i would have to agree but yeah, fucking... we're just looking at each other as looking at him as wrestlers. I don't really 
support Hulk Hogan in any way, but he was huge. He's everywhere. Yeah, he's a fucking asshole, but yeah. Juventud Guerrero. Just about bearable. Okay. I would agree with that. He was actually he was really good. Really good in ring talent. Um probably should have kept the mask on. Probably. Yeah. Uh Chris Canyon. Way ahead of his time. Yeah. I don't know. All right, maybe. Okay. Oh boy. We better have an agreement on this one. Big sexy like Kevin, Kevin Nash. Nash. Kevin Nash. I think he's lovely, lovely, lovely. I would almost put him in the best, honestly. I would not I would not put him in the best, but I would put him lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Uh the man you should not ever try and power bomb. Uh Billy Kidman. Hmm. I like Billy Kidman. I, I don't think too. he's I don't think he's as, as good as the guys in Lovely 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 Lee right now. I think you put him in all right. Yep. And uh he also um was married to Tori Wilson, so is that Maven next? Who is that? Uh, that is Conan. That's K Dog. Oh la la la. Viva uh, la Raza. That's Conan. Okay. Just about bearable. Really? Yeah, dude. He's Rey Mysterio's best friend. Yeah, but like Every every group of two friends, there's one guy that is much more popular than the other one. Rey Mysterio, really well received. K Dog, I was out. He's kind of just there. Um, La Parka. Oh man, I kind of want to tell him to get in the bin, but he might he, be he might be just about bearable. I'd agree. He had a chair, that chair gimmick. Yeah. Just about bearable. Oh, boy. Lex Luger. I didn't like Lex Luger. I did. I think you put him in all right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's not the greatest of wrestlers, but the man was fucking yoked. He was very yoked. And you would see people doing torture acts at AU wrestling meets. That's also true. Um, I think that was the first move I wanted to learn. <laughs> yep. Uh, Meng or Haku, uh, legitimately the toughest man in professional wrestling. Uh, wasn't his head? Wasn't his skull thicker than yes. the human? Yes, like the average and human skull. He, like, people are legitimately scared of him, uh, including myself. I feel like if we put him in either of these two lower categories, he might come and try and find us and kill us. I'm fine with him being an all right. Okay. Here's a guy that I don't think you've thought of in at least 20 years. Norman Smiley. Get in the bin. He, he did the wiggle. And he he's oh that was the wiggle guy yes okay, just about bearable or <laughs> getting a bit uh, he's at the head of just about bearable he's fucking hilarious I loved him the wiggle I forgot about the wiggle Perry Saturn <laughs> Perry Saturn Perry Saturn doesn't even want to be Perry Saturn dude <laughs> I th- um, he was very talented though I'd put him in all right all right. Uh, psychosis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about. I put him at just about bearable. That okay. stupid fucking gimmick was so dumb. <laughs> it's just so funny. Oh, 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 oh yeah! yeah. Oh, my great mother crop, Macho the Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah! You put you put Macho Man in the best. That man's dead, and he's still doing stuff for the sport. And you put Raven right by Perry Saturn for the world's dumbest tag team. God damn it. I loved Raven, though. But well, He looks like shitty Steven Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, 
I don't know. Where where do we put Rey Mysterio, huh? He's been around long enough. Personally, I put him in the best. I'd agree. Okay. I think are you ready? Are you yeah? Are you are you ready? Woo! I put him in the best. It's Ric Flair. It sure is. Put him in the best. Thoughts on Ric Flair? Uh I respect the shit out of him for all that he did. And pretty much for the for the businessman that he was. I don't like everything that he did, but like you know, he, he was ready to die for the whole thing. So yeah, literally. Yeah. I think you put him in the best and I wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh Rick Steiner. Uh, I wasn't a big Steiner Bros fan. I think you could put them both in all right. But you could probably put him in lovely, lovely, lovely too. I'm gonna put him in all right. And put Scott in lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. Be, be, because Scott Steiner, first first of all, Scott Steiner is gonna be in Sioux Falls uh, at the end of September. Yeah, are you gonna go see him? Uh I probably have to work. But um uh he's awesome. I love I love Scott Steiner. I like this chain mail that he wore on his head. I, I also <laughs> like I also how like that, that stay he, on. That's a good point. That's a good question. I also like how he would talk. Just he would say the most outlandish things. Yeah, the Steiner brothers were pretty funny. Like, have you seen the Steiner math promo? <laughs> yeah, where he's like, and you got ninety nine percent chance, and you know, your chances drastically go down. Like what? Um, talk about a guy taken from us far too soon. Bad times don't last, but bad guys do. It's Scott Hall. I think lovely, lovely, lovely fits him pretty well. Um, Stevie Ray. Maybe all right. I'd say just about bearable, personally. That's fine. Put him there. Ooh, if there's a guy that's flirting with a line, it's Sting. You could put him in best or lovely, 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 and I wouldn't be upset about it. Yeah, he's going in the best. It did have a sweet Sting coloring box in second grade, I think. Wrath or uh, Brian Clark, I think was his name. <laughs> Brian Clark. I like that better than Wrath. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember him at all. I'd get him in the bin. Yeah, but... yeah. He he was also um in WWE. He was Adam Bomb. Oh, okay. Yeah, get him in the fucking bin. Okay. So let's uh let's rank or let's uh, sort out these tiers. So are we okay with Bret Hart being where he is, or who would Pers- you have as as the best? Personally, I'm fine with Bret Hart being one. Okay. I think you could probably make a case for Ric Flair being two. All right. Hogan was huge. I think he's number three. Macho Man four is good. Rey Mysterio and Sting, I think fits. I think that's. I think that tier is good. I am going to put uh, Macho Man ahead of uh, Hogan because that's uh, incorrect, I... and you know it. No, it, it's correct. No, it's not. That's incorrect, yes. and you know it. Um, People didn't do... watch him fight Andre the Giant. People watch Hollywood Hogan fight him. Do we put uh, Booker T up, or do we keep him where he is? I think keep him where he is. All right. But I think, How... I think, I think he's number one in that lovely, lovely, lovely category. Okay. Who's number two? Would it be Nash? Would Nash be number two in that category? No. Or Hall? No, it wouldn't be Hall either. Jericho? Yeah, Chris Jericho. All right. Benoit staying at three, or do we move any of these others? I think you can leave Benoit at three. Henning at four? I think I'd move Dean Malenko up. Okay. 
Uh, that looks pretty good. Okay. You know what? I kind of want to put Eddie up. That's fine. Put him at the back, though. All right. Bam, bam. I think I feel... that's a good... I think that's a good number one. I think you put Goldberg up, and I think you put Steiner up. Like, Steiner's in the back right now. you got to put Steiner way up. Okay. I think you have to put Buff Bagwell way down. <laughs> as, <laughs> as much as I like Buff Bagwell, he's going down a ways. Okay, move Lex Luger up to four. Okay. Um, um, DDP, I feel like, has to go up. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think DDP going up is fine. Um, Canyon, I feel like, should be ahead of Chavo. Yeah. I think so. I think Kidman should be ahead of Chavo. I, I agree. And Haku yeah. should be ahead of Chavo. I think and that I think, looks... I think that's good. I think that's fine. I think Perry Saturn is better than Chavo, but I think you leave him with Raven. And then Buff Bagwell has his own line to be fucking weird on. <laughs> um, Where's Val Venus? Uh, this is WCW. Oh, okay. Um, Norman N- Norman Smiley at the very beginning is just funny to me. <laughs> what what picture did they use there? That looks like he's in like a VFW hall. It does, and it looks like he <laughs> has seen some shit. <laughs> I'm kind of fine with him being the first person you see when you walk into like the bowling alley, which I would imagine <laughs> is the just about bearable category of of this tier list. Um, he's, he's, he's just like sitting at the jukebox doing the wiggle, putting in <laughs> coins in the fucking sl- Kino machines. Yeah, my wife just left me left me and I lost all my money. Do the wig. Oh um, I'm putting Fit Finley up personally. That's fine. Um move uh move him up. That move, one. Uh, yeah. Who, who, move into move into but yeah, move him three. Okay. Um, uh put the German guy at the back of unbearable or bearable. Okay. Uh put psychosis ahead of Whatever that fucking thing. Parka. Yeah. I think that's. K Dog? I. Yeah, I think that's. You can move K Dog up over Stevie Ray, maybe, but. Yep. All right. That's fine. Um, Well, we're putting uh, Disco Inferno into the back. Yeah, put put Ray Romano in in the back. (laughs) Um, We're also putting Cyclope back. Yep. I think that's good. I think Wrath yeah. is Wrath is not the worst. He's not the best though either. So I think that looks pretty accurate. I still disagree with you on the Macho Man thing being better than Hulk. I don't like it, but right. I'm fine with it. Well, that was our uh, tier list for the week. Um, uh, I don't know what my schedule if. Um, I'll be available Thursday or Friday yet, but uh, we shall see. Um, right now I'm working Sunday through, actually I'm working Sunday through Thursday, so I don't know if I'm going to be available next Friday, but we can, we, we will see. Are you doing 40 hours a week? Yeah. Okay. Well, 43 hours a week, you, but it, you like. Get, you getting overtime? Uh, that that's just like roundabout what it is. It I think it is overtime, but I don't I don't know. I just get I just get the money and I do what I do. Yeah. So um, by the way, um, I broke my own personal record at today at um hospice. <laughs> okay, I, grandma. I bought 17 books for $18. Oh, my God. Dude, you are my grandma. <laughs> um, 
I finally have a book that I probably should have read in high school, but uh, my teacher never um, uh, gave it to us. I have The Lord of the Flies. That's a good book. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it, it's a it's a good read. I guess it, maybe it's not a good book, but yeah. it's it's um, it reads pretty quick. OK, well, um, I also have all of my um, books sorted. This is how stupid I am, how anal I am when, with things. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, um, website Goodreads? Did you say you were doing anal? No. Oh, okay. I know Goodreads. Yeah. So I have all of my, I have um, all the books I've recently um, bought um, or that I want to read. Cause I have, I have a lot of books, but not all of them I want to read right now, but I have all of the books I want to read uh, sorted on a spreadsheet by uh, Goodreads rating. Okay, means... somebody come date Scotty because he's got way too much time on his hands if he's sorting his fucking book catalog. Which According mean... to Goodreads. Which means that the next book that I will be reading once I finish uh, Firestarter, um, which I'm halfway done with, by the way. Um, <laughs> You've been reading that book for like three months. Uh, only a month, but um, anyways... I uh my next book is Juiced by Jose Canseco. So Oh, nice. I'd be interested in reading that one actually. Yeah. I almost bought Vindicated, which is the sequel to that, but mm. I almost written did. by written by Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel gated. <laughs> Tell me you wouldn't read that book. I, it's all I, about, I would. It's it's all about cars and family. I, I did buy <laughs> Jessica Simpson's book today. Yeah. By that. Yes. What's that called? Open book. I think she's stupid. She's a lot smarter than we think. Is she? I think so. Also, uh, if we were to tier like childhood crushes, she's way up there. How, okay, whatever. It's like it's like her and uh her and Hillary Duff. See, I, I told you we were going to mention Hillary Duff for four podcasts in a row, and we did it. God damn it. Did we really? I think so. <laughs> that shit so yesterday. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Thanks for uh, watching, everybody.